somebody welcome back with cookie with Nana Muni I am gonna show you how to do um, Lao fish wrap with gel but egg so in Lao we would say um, pan pan pa say nam but I'm gonna do with the with this fish sauce and um, this is the but jar tamarind sauce here and I have garlic, fresh pepper, and slice of galanga. And some MSG is options. This is gonna be for the sauce. And, and then the pork grind that I will mix it in the sauce. Um, so I am gonna use this to make it more um, thick and creamy. I'm gonna use um, the pork skin, vegetable that we use to do the wrap. So what I have here is a slice of, um, Red shallot, lemongrass, thin, thinly sliced, and kalanka, and um, long green beans, snake beans, we would call them toa, and ginger, um, julienne. It depends how, how, the way how you want to slice it. And I have um, green mango. If you don't want green mango, if you can't find green mango, you don't have to. It's an option and a slice of cilantro and eggplant and dill same thing slice and we have um, cherry tomato garlic dry um, dry shrimp this like is option you don't have to put whatever that is that you it's up to you to prefer roast peanuts um, you can use any kind of peanuts you prefer and slice of um, chili pepper and fried sliced pork skin. Then I have so, the kapon is the noodle, so it's cooked already. And then we have fried fish. You can bake your fish. You can fry. It's up to you. Um, if you don't have to, if you don't want to use fish, it's fine. You don't have to use fish. And our wrap that we're gonna use is cabbage. So this is the cabbage I use. Um, it's, it's, if you find a cabbage, try to find the lightest. Um, don't try to get the heavy one because the heavy one, um, I notice when you get the light one, it's more a little bit crispy and more on soft. And then I will show you my step of how to make the gel padak um, dipping sauce. It depends how much you want to use. So, I mean, you can make a lot and save it and put it in the refrigerator. So... I am gonna put one cup. I'm gonna use two cups. Okay. This is my two cup. Okay. And then MSG is option. That is one tablespoon. And then I will smash the garlic, the pepper, and then the kalanka. Once I have two cups of padak, instead, and then I um, it's option if you want to. So I use one third of water. Got to mention because I didn't want it too much of the padak, so I use one third. So I'm gonna use the crushed pepper, kalanka, and um, garlic in here. Okay. And then I'm going to use my tamarind. This one is very thick. So I'm going to use three tablespoon. You know what? I'm going to use four. I'm sorry. I'm going to use four of the tamarind sauce. Okay. Stir it, and then I'm gonna go put in the stove. Put it down a little bit. Remember, I add a little bit of water, so I use one third cup of water. Mention that I need to use one block of palm sugar in there. Just one, one, in the just one block in here. Okay, then I'm going to cook and then my next step is going to smash the pork, um, um, fried pork skin. 
and put it I, in here. This one, you can use the non-spicy, but I have the, the spicy one, the hot one. Or you can use the non-spicy one that you prefer to use. So, to this, I'm going to smash it real um, like a powder. Then we'll throw in there. So, it, this is like, right now I'm smashing one cup of the um, pork brine. Like, like boiling lower down. Okay. And your sugar is um, dissolved when it's melting. Okay. And then I'm going to add the crushed um, ground, crushed um, pork skin that I smashed. Okay. That's it. And then just Turn it off because you will get that little bit of crushing, um, crunchness in it. Another one cup of water because I want to, I don't want my sauce to be too salty. And then I am going to taste. Mm. Okay. And then you just taste like how you want your sauce to be. That's fine for me. Some people like it salty. And then if you want to add more sugar, you can. Okay, I'm going to sh shut it off. Okay. When it's all set, if you want to taste it, um, I'm going to add more tamarind. I like a little bit more sourness. That's two three, four, five. Okay. If you want more sugar, you can add sugar. Some people don't like sugar, so you don't have to add any more sugar. And then you can use dry, pep um, dry chili pepper a little bit. And you can use a fresh um, slice, fresh pepper on top of it. So there he is. This is my other way of making um, gel nam padak with um, to um, wrap with um, fish. Mm. Perfect fine with me. So like I said, you just taste it. If you want more sourness, more sweet, it's up to you. And I will show you on next step with how we use this to wrap. See, then you can add I'm gonna slice some dried pepper. And I like mine a little bit more spicy. I'm gonna put the dried chili more in there. So there you go. This is the sauce for um jiao nam padak for the pan pa veggies lao. So, okay, so this is how we pan, this is how we plate our fish, our pan pa, okay, move my fish, okay, grab a cabbage, okay, this is what I like to put in, I like to put the dill, um, cilantro, Eggplant, mango slice, um, ginger, um, long green beans, one slice of kalanka, lemongrass, um, red shallot, slice of garlic, tomato, and dry shrimp. Some chili, some um, peanuts, and pork skin, pork brine, and then some fish, and some noodle. Okay, that's the wrap right there. So once you wrap it, what the? 
wrap it up like this put the sauce in with more chili in it like there and here you go mm. Mm -hmm. so this is our um, Lao fish wrap with gel padak so this is the gel padak that we use to wrap with like I said you can add more um, sugar more palm palm sauce you know or more chili it's up to you it's you know it's the way how you like it but this is mostly the way we do at home and this is the way how we pan mother mother making miang pan miang pa nam gan with nam gel padak thana hao je gan mai khop chai la lai la gon bye